You're watching Outdoors Delmarva presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. They say you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. And I'm not sure if that holds true for pumpkin pie, but we gave it our best shot at this year's Sling and Squash at Big Chill Surf Cantina in Rehoboth. We have our sixth annual Sling and Squash event. Uh, we've come a long way. Uh, people were throwing, you know, only six people from the first event to 40 this year. Uh, we're supporting the Wounded Warriors Project today for the Veterans Day weekend, which I couldn't think of anything better to support right now. So it's a men's and women's division. Uh, everybody who enters gets a free t-shirt. Uh, they get two throws. When we measure, uh, the top three from each division go to that final round, and then, uh, sorry, top five actually, and then the top three get prizes, with the first place getting $250. I was up against some pretty stiff competition in the men's division, especially with some competitors having done this event before. Colin Healy, who took first place in the men's division, has given me hope that with a little bit of training, I might find myself in the finals next year. Colin, how many years have you been doing this? This is my second year. Second year? How did you place in the previous year? I got second last year. So you got second. So you yeah. are improving. <laughs> are, are you planning on coming back next year to yeah. defend your title? Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's a whole lot of fun. It's for an awesome cause. And so no reason not to come back. Tierra Collins had absolutely nothing to prove to anyone this year as she came into the sixth annual contest as back-to-back -back champion in the women's division, but decided that going for the three-peats was worth the price of admission. You are back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back champions in the women's division for sling and squash. Tell me how you're feeling right now. I'm feeling good. It's exciting. I say every year I'm only out here for the t-shirt and the Wounded Warrior Project, but it's nice to win too. It's just a great time. Everyone here is so supportive every year. Some people I only see once a year at this and they always remember you. They're always so friendly, so you definitely come out if you're thinking about it. We want to make sure we're a part of the community um, and giving back to the people who give to us, you know? Whether it be Wounded Warriors, or uh, Food Kitchens, or Code Purple, whatever it is, we're making sure we're giving back. Jason, I'm really proud of you. Mm. Well, thank you, but I didn't do very well. No, no, I'm proud that you did not hurt yourself because strenuous activity for someone of your age can be a real health hazard. Anyway, thanks to AJ and everyone at the cantina for a good time. We are looking forward to being back next year. And next, we're taking to the skies when the Outdoors Delmarva Thanksgiving special returns.